Dear learners, welcome to this presentation on monophasic liquid dosage forms in which today we are going to study about liniments and lotions. After watching this video, the learners will be able to define liniments, define lotions, then compare and contrast between liniments and lotions. And finally, explain why liniments are applied with friction. So, let us study what are liniments. Liniments are the liquid or semi liquid preparations meant for application to the skin. They are usually applied to the skin with friction and rubbing of the skin. Liniments may be alcoholic or oily. In alcoholic liniments, alcohol helps in penetration of medicament into the skin and also increases its counter irritant and rubefacient action. Whereas in oily liniments, the arachis oil is commonly used which spreads more easily on the skin. Generally, the liniments contain medicaments possessing the analgesic, rubefacient, soothing and counter irritant or stimulating properties. A liniment should not be applied to the broken skin because it may cause excessive irritation. Now let us see the containers that are used to dispense the liniments. The liniments are dispensed in color fluted bottles in order to distinguish it from preparation made for internal use. Now let us see the labeling conditions. The label on the liniment should state the following points. First is that is for external use only. Second is the shake the bottle well before use. And last and the important instruction on the label that is not to be applied to open wound or broken skin. Now let us see the storage conditions of liniments. The liniments are stored in tightly closed, airtight containers in a cool place. Now, let us see the example of liniment that is turpentine liniment. So, this is the prescription of turpentine liniment which contains the ingredients that are soft soap, camphor, turpentine oil and purified water. Now let us see the procedure to prepare the turpentine liniment. First step is that mix the soft soap in a small quantity of purified water in a beaker. Then in another beaker mix the camphor in turpentine oil. The next step is gradually add the camphor solution to the soap mixture and with trituration till a thick creamy emulsion is formed. The next step is add sufficient purified water to produce required volume and finally mix it thoroughly and Transfer the preparation to the bottle, label the bottle and dispense. Now let us see what are lotions. Lotions are the liquid preparations that are meant for external application and are applied without friction. Lotions are applied direct to the skin with the help of some absorbent material such as cotton wool or gauze soaked in it. The lotions may be used for 
लोकल एक्शंस सच एज कूलिंग सूथिंग और प्रोटेक्टिव पर्पजेस दे आर जनरली अप्लाइड फॉर एंटीसेप्टिक एक्शन फॉर एग्जाम्पल कैलामाइन लोशन वेर एज अल्कोहल इज समाइम्स इंक्लूडेड इन एक्वियस लोशंस for its cooling and soothing effect for example salicylic acid lotion now let us see the containers that are used for dispensing the lotions the lotions are dispensed in color fluted bottles in order to distinguish it from preparation made for internal use now let us see the labeling condition or labeling instructions that should be maintained on the label and that should be mentioned on the label of lotions first instruction is that for external use only and second instruction is that shake the bottle well before use now let us see the storage condition for lotions the lotions are stored in well filled well closed air tight container in a cool place now let us see the example of lotion when lotion contains insoluble substances of indiffusible nature it will have to be dispensed in lotions like that of mixtures that is by incorporating a suspending agent for this purpose gummy suspending agent like tragacanth is not suitable because of their sticky nature therefore bentonite and aluminum hydroxide gel is sometimes used as a suspending agent for example calamine lotion is it is the example of lotion and this is the prescription of calamine lotion which contains the ingredients that are calamine zinc oxide bentonite sodium citrate liquefied phenol glycerin and rose water now let us see the use of each ingredient or uh, that are used in calamine lotion first is the calamine calamine it is a insoluble substance and indiffusible in nature it acts as astringent soothing or protective agent next is the zinc oxide it is used as an adjuvant it acts as mild astringent with local soothing protective and antiseptic properties next is bentonite it acts as a suspending agent which swells up in water and imparts viscosity to the solution next is the sodium citrate it is used to prevent the lotion for being too viscous next is liquefied phenol it is used as an antiseptic next is glycerin glycerin is used as an humectant next is the rose water it is used as vehicle Now let us see the procedure to prepare the calamine lotion. First step is that dissolve the sodium citrate in rose water in a beaker. Then in the mortar triturate calamine, zinc oxide and bentonite with the solution of sodium citrate. Next step then add liquefied phenol in that then add the glycerin. Then add rose water in sufficient quantity to produce the required volume and finally transfer the lotion to the bottle cork it label and dispense now let us see the difference between liniments and lotions first difference is that the liniments are liquid or semi liquid preparations that are meant for application on the skin with friction whereas lotions are liquid preparations meant for application on the skin without friction liniments may be alcoholic or oily solutions or emulsions whereas lotions may be aqueous 
alcoholic or oily liquid preparation liniments are not applied to the broken skin whereas lotions can be applied to the broken skin the next difference between liniment and lotion is that the label on the liniment must state the following points first shake well before use next for external use only and the last and the important instruction not to be applied to broken skin whereas the label on the lotion must state the following points shake well before use and second for external use only the liniments contain volatile substances like alcohol camphor turpentine oil etc whereas lotions contain simple salts like zinc sulfate copper sulfate etc next difference is the liniments are useful for rubefacient counter irritant and penetration action on skin whereas lotions are used for cooling soothing and protective action on skin next difference storage liniments are stored in tightly closed air tight container in a cool place whereas lotions are stored in well filled well closed air tight container in a cool place then the official examples some of the official examples of liniments are turpentine liniment ip camphor liniment ip soap liniment ip whereas some of the official examples of lotions are calamine lotion ip white lotion bpc and salicylic acid lotion bpc now after studying this liniments and lotion one question arises in your mind that why lotions are applied without friction and liniments are applied with friction to the skin so let us see why this is the because lotions are applied to the skin without friction as they are intended for their local actions such as cooling soothing drying and protective purposes while liniments are applied to the skin with friction as they are intended for their therapeutic action which depends upon the penetration of medicament through skin and its layers and the penetration in turn depends upon nature of medicament and degree of massage thank you for your patience listening if you like this video press like button and for more videos subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking button on subscribe thank you for your patience listening keep learning